become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Then the next very important property which will be used uh, in the designing of pressure vessel or that pressure vessel material must be having that quality is the toughness. What do you mean by toughness? The toughness is nothing but the ability of that material to withstand shock. So as we have seen that whenever such a fluid flow is coming and giving impact on the walls, uh, then what will happen because of this shock or because of this uh, impact, the material should be able to, uh, should not fail or if there is a brittle material, th then it will suddenly fail. So this toughness is also very important. So that toughness property is to ability to absorb the shock. So the toughness is also very important Then modulus of elasticity or we can say Young's modulus of elasticity. We know that within <clears throat> uh, elastic limit, as we follow the uh, Hooke's law, stress is directly proportional to strain. Or we can say Young's modulus is nothing but stress upon strain. To calculate various stress and strain, strain means the deformation. To calculate the deformation, we must know the value of this elastic modulus. Higher the value of elastic modulus, better its ability to sustain for the deformation if it is a brittle material then it won't have much deformation it will suddenly break down so modulus of elasticity or we can say the young's modulus of elasticity is also a very very important property of the material which will be utilized in calculation of the stress and the strain or we can say the deformation those are caused because of the various types of loading the loading could be any loading the deformation could be because of internal pressure external pressure weight of that equipment wind load seismic load snow loading uh, then thermal expansion that could be because of the piping load so the modulus of elasticity is also very very important property of the material which will be tested over there then the next is the coefficient of thermal expansion this is also very a uh, important virtue of the material that is thermal coefficient of expansion as we all know uh, we will see one animation first if let's say this is a vessel having the pipeline which is attached at the bottom and from the bottom there is some hot fluid is getting inside so let's say the hot fluid is coming from the bottom and entering into the vessel so what will happen the vessel will expand any metal when get heat it will try to expand and when the heat is removed it will try to contract so to calculate the stresses developed because of this thermal expansion we must know the value of the thermal coefficient so every metal is having its own thermal coefficient of expansion so this is also very important virtue of that material which will be required to calculate the stresses developed because of this thermal expansion so as we have seen one example of the fixed heat uh, heat exchanger fixed tube sheet heat exchanger uh, the expansion caused in the tube and the expansion cause in the shell was different so there also uh, we required this thermal coefficient of thermal expansion to calculate the value of that amount of expansion so the calculation or the way we calculate this expansion is l alpha into delta t whereas l is the length alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion and delta t is the temperature difference so from this we will get the amount of thermal expansion and once we got that thermal expansion then there are formulas available from where uh, from which we can calculate the stresses developed because of thermal expansion. So this is also very important property of the metal that coefficient of thermal expansion which will be utilized during the life of the pressure vessel. Then the poison's ratio. Poison's ratio again a uh, virtue of the material which will be required to calculate the strains or we can say the deformations and the stresses. E is equal to stress upon strain poison's ratio is a, uh, is nothing but the ratio of the strain so longitudinal and lateral strain so the poison ratio is very very important and that will be utilized in calculation of the strain then the poison ratio is required um, as a constant in engin engineering analysis for determining the stresses and deformation properties of the material so poison ratio is the next important property that the material should be having then the ductility 
Now, what do you mean by ductility? Let's take one example. This is one vessel. There is some piping attached. There will be some uh, loads which will be generated because of this piping. So I'm seeing, uh, I'm showing this in exaggeration that uh, the movement of the piping just to understand that how the loads will get transferred on the vessel wall and the nozzle neck. Let's say there are loads coming. So those are pushing the vessel. And if you can see in the dotted line, there will be a deformation that will happen at the junction of your nozzle wall and the shell. So what has happened if instead of ductility, if the material is brittle, so because of the application of this loading at the junction, the vessel will automatically fail or we can say it won't have that ductility. The ductile material, what it will do. So the ductile properties permit the local yielding, means local deformation in presence of the high peak stresses and gives a favorable stress distribution in that region. So let's say there is some thermal expansion that is to be happened. Let's take one example. Let's say this vessel is mounted in actually site. Then the piping is coming. The piping is under a certain temperature. So that temperature will allow the or pushes the metal to expand, the piping to expand, let's say by two millimeters. So this piping is exerting the pressure onto nozzle to shell junction. So because of this exertion of the pressure, there will be some minor deformation that will happen at the junction of nozzle and shell. And after that deformation has happened, then there won't be any further expansion. So whatever expansion was there, that has been absorbed. So as far as the plant is running thereafter, there won't be any other stresses coming because of the thermal expansion, because the initial thermal expansion is already been taken care. And there is initial yielding that has happened, which will prevent the further breakage of that vessel. So this ductility is utmost important property of the material that a material should have. If there would have been a brittle material, then because of this thermal stresses, it might have failed. So let's see one by one what are the important properties of the materials that we are going to see. So tensile strength will be very important. Compressive strength will be important. Shear strength, bending strength, toughness, modulus of elasticity, coefficient of thermal expansion, poison ratio, and ductility. These are all important things which we have to design, uh, which we have to, uh, which any material should possess to take care of all these various types of loading in the life cycle that vessel is going to get phased.